The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Cam Steve for Botest.com. Nitro designed the ZV21 to take anglers out on big lakes and provide them with all the tools necessary to find and catch different species of fish, all in a boat that is safe, seaworthy, and dry. All that's needed is a reasonable price, and that's always been one of Nitro's strong suits. Let's take a look at what a well-equipped fishing boat consists of. First, there's storage, and the ZV21 has lots of it. Next to the port console, there's under bulwark storage that holds a net. Next to that is storage for six rods. There's the rod storage between the consoles. And with two tiers, I've seen this compartment hold up to 25 rods. Surprisingly comfortable how this little groove is for lifting the hatch with your hands. And of course, it's lockable. And just underneath, convenient storage for two more tackle drawers. There's convenient tool storage right next to the helm. Forward. Plenty of storage in the fore deck. Crazy amount of storage on this boat. I've seen one with up to 75 Plano tackle drawers. Just behind, another live well, colored blue, rounded corners. To the starboard side, even more storage. And a bait well with a removable bucket. This boat's even equipped with the optional low Rance fish finder at the bow. The seats have flip up seat backs and they're contoured so that you can swivel them and swing your legs to the side easily. And notice, they're on shock absorbing pedestals. There's padding underneath the carpet. You can see the seam where the padding ends right here. Notice two pedestal spaces to accommodate both tall and short captains and their ability to reach the controls for the trolling motor. Nitro includes a standard Minn Kota 36 volt, 101 pound thrust trolling motor. Five other options are offered, including this one that has an autopilot. Even with a breeze blowing, I was surprised at how easily controllable the ZV-21 is on the trolling motor. I was able to maneuver all around the docks and among the rocks on the shore and cast into the shading areas that we all love. The ZV-21 can accommodate a kicker motor. This is a 9.9 .9 horsepower, and Nitro offers eight different kickers from 9.9 .9 to 15 horsepower to choose from. Removable steering connecting rods allow it to be controlled from the wheel at the helm. Quite impressed with how stable the boat stays as I walk back and forth. Notice the enclosed wiring harness going to the Mercury four-stroke, and underneath, easy access to pumps. In the center, live well, and a lot of thought went into this live well. First of all, it's got a lip underneath, so it's baffled. That'll protect your fish. A cutout for a bait bucket. Notice the color blue and rounded edges all the way around. Pull-up cleats help eliminate any snags. In the center of the cockpit, Easy access to the batteries. I've seen this compartment with up to seven batteries on one version. Pedestal bases to both sides and to the outsides of the cockpit. Two storage compartments with the hatches held up by gas assist struts and reinforced underside. The helm has a notch on the side to accommodate the Lowrance HDS7 on a pedestal. There's plenty of room for another one on the other side. Windscreen is nice and high and very solid. Deflects the wind way over my head. Gauges wrap around the wheel, which is mounted to a tilt base. We even have a smart craft gauge over on the right hand side. Waterproof rocker switches, all controlling the live well, the nav lights, bilge, and courtesy lights, all accessed by a master power switch. I was also surprised at how thick the windshield is, negating the need for a frame. Both the helm and the observer seats are on fixed pedestals and they swivel and slide. The Nitro ZV21 has a length overall of 21 feet 7 inches, a beam of 100 inches, and a draft of 18 inches. With an empty weight of 2,900 pounds, 20 gallons of fuel, 2 people, and the 647 pound 300 horsepower Verado, we had a test weight of approximately 4,087 pounds. With the 300 Verado turning a 14 and 5 8 by 21 Tempest prop, we reached a top speed at 6,000 RPM of 60.1 miles per hour. At that speed, fuel burn was 29.8 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 116 miles. Rest crews came in at 3,500 RPM and 31 miles per hour. That speed reduced the fuel burn to 9.25 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 193 miles and an endurance of 6 hours and 12 minutes while still maintaining a 10% reserve. We had a time to plane of only 3.2 seconds, reached 20 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds, 30 in 8.3 seconds and continued accelerating through 40 miles per hour in 12.4 seconds. Her high freeboard make her a great handling boat in the chop, which makes her ideal for big bodies of water like Table Rock or the Great Lakes. She remains dry even when we tacked back and forth across the wake of the photo boat. 
the power steering gave a solid feel to her handling and produced no feedback, making her comfortable for long runs to the fishing spot. With great handling and pro-level accommodations for fishing, it's no wonder why the ZV-21 is such a popular multi-species boat for Nitro. Well, that's our look at the ZV-21 by Nitro. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.